talking about camp, though, you Austrians, particularly the men, little bit off the wall. There's no way past this. I am, of course, referring to the Lederhosen, the epitome of Austrian male dress, tight leather shorts with straps and a sort of decoratively stitched nipple panel. <laughs> and uh, an acquaintance of mine from the Laventhal said, you actually have to pee on them to get them soft enough to wear. There's no excuse for this sort of deviant behaviour. What is the matter with you? You should just own up to it in a sort of Hugh Grant caught with a prostitute kind of way. I wear the Lederhosen because I like the way it rubs against my equipment, yes? <laughs> And I didn't realise that, that, here we go, in the deep water, that women actually find this attractive. Rudy, will you put on the leather shorts? God, this, it's just a mystifying culture, it really, really is. And I'm not buying the line, it's very practical for wearing around the farmyard either. It's fetish wear. Let's get this. <laughs> Why can't you wear high heels, white tights and powdery wigs like the rest of us real men? <laughs> Good Lord. Having said that, you are saved from looking like total idiots by, in this, as indeed in so much of life, by your women. The dirndl. Oh, yes. Oh, these. Yeah, you noticed. Yes, these are my breasts. That's right. As if that much cleavage just happened by accident. 